Hi everybody, this is Pam Coey and I have my good friend Terry Duncan with me. She is my intern. Hi Terry. Hi. And you may remember her from my Powerful Design and Personal Color course. She was one of my beta testers. She is a writer. And uh, Terry, do you want to talk a little bit about, I call Powerful Design and Personal Color my PDPC course. So Terry went through that first, being a writer, never having held a paintbrush before. So Terry, what did you think of that course when you went through it? I learned a lot about art that I didn't know before. And I learned a lot about design and technique and color and mixing so many things I didn't know. I didn't know anything really. And in taking that course, it really opened my eyes to look at art in a different way. And I began gathering all the things that I needed for a studio. Now I'm really excited about your new course. Okay, so I have a brand new mini course. And well, it started out as a mini course in acrylic technique and mixed media technique. But what I didn't realize was that after I added the bonus videos, which are a lot of additional techniques, which added like an additional three hours, although I had intended for it to be kind of a mini course, meaning like four hours, it turned out to be seven hours. And I had Terry uh, go through the course and she being a non-artist, uh, tried that out. And so for her, it was a difference between, well, here is the difference between acrylic technique versus cold wax medium and oil technique. So Terry, Tell us a little bit about how you felt um, comparing the two techniques and why one felt a little bit less intimidating than the other. I learned so many things about color, color mixing, mediums, paper. I, there was just so much in the PDPC course. I got really excited about using my studio once I saw this new course because it seemed um, that the medium was more approachable it was easier to use. Um, it didn't seem to have so many rules. And so I wasn't quite so afraid of mistake making. And I just really got excited that it was something that it seemed like I could grasp it. There wasn't as much prep. You could just get in there and paint and do the best you could. And, yeah. you know, get out of the studio when you needed to walk away and feel good and come back to it another time. No solvents. Uh, right. You don't really need ventilation. There are a lot of uh, technical concerns when you work with um, oil and cold wax medium. And a lot of you out there know that. So just just wanted to let you know that I do have that mini course available now. And I'm offering a special discount through December 25th, midnight Mountain Standard Time can get 20% off and there'll be a coupon that you have to click on the description below this video to get the code and get the link. Okay, so that'll be 20% off. And just, just so you know that after the holiday, after our Christmas holiday, uh, the price will be uh, going up because it's it's not so much a mini course when I finished it and when I originally priced it, it was a lot shorter. And so just expect that the price will be increased after the holidays. So thank you, Terry, so much for that feedback. And um, for all of you out there, I'm going to be walking around my studio now with Terry because I've got it set up now. Um, I've had some visitors come. It's, you know, the holidays. And by the way, happy holidays to all of you. Hope you're safe and can have safe travels and a wonderful holiday. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick kind of tour around my studio and show you what's going on right now. I'm preparing for a large solo exhibition in 2020. And uh, when you have visitors come to your studio, everything, as you know, you have to make it neat and tidy. And I had to rearrange everything. So I've got encaustic work out here that I wouldn't normally have. And um, I thought I would just give you a little tour. So uh, thanks everyone. And I'll give you a tour right now. All right, so this is kind of my, my main wall where I usually am doing paintings that I post on YouTube. I'll get a, a kind of scan here so you can see there are my front doors and you know, I'll give you the global view first of the studio so you can kind of see what I'll be talking about. But um, I just wanted to show you that on the front wall right now, in addition to lights and tripods and all that kind of good stuff, I've got some encaustic work here. And encaustic uh, means burning in. It's a Greek word, encaustikos, and the medium itself is about 2,000 years old. The Greeks used to use it to seal their ships so that they wouldn't leak. And it has now been, you know, it's kind of coming back in popularity, much, much due to Jasper Johns and the Fayum mummy portraits. But um, as you can see, uh, it has a really kind of beautiful, waxy, lustrous surface. And 
because I love marks, I found a way to um, work my mark making, my shape making, and my love of color uh, into the surface. So if any of you out there would like a short video or perhaps a little series of, you know, how you do encaustic, please let me know um, in the comment box. I'd be more than happy to get out my hot waxes, which I will be doing anyways. Um, just let me know if you have an interest. Over on this wall, I've got some little swatches and quick studies that I've done in oil and cold wax. There's some palettes, and then down below is another medium. These are really just scrap papers of encaustic on paper, which becomes a monotype. Here's a close-up of that. So if you love mark making, um, it's a wonderful way to be gestural, free, and then a lot of times I'll work these into other paintings. So um, I'm just gonna walk around the studio here. And again, here's kind of the global view. It's a bit of a um, hodgepodge right now because um, partly coming away from making this course and all, but um, just got some work back from, this is actually shown in Rome and it just came back and um, be unwrapping that. And, and then you guys have all seen this painting, but I had, you know, visitors in, so I, these are not mounted yet on panel, but they will be. So some of you have asked me, how do I mount these on the wall? And here are these jumbo thumbtacks, which are awesome. Those are not the, the little kind, they're the big kind. And I needed to get them on my wall quickly. Um, and you know, also these will be mounted on panel. So that's something I will need to do. Also over here, I, uh, had these on my wall. They're, they're not quite done yet. You saw the beginning of this. I did it in a live video on YouTube and they're laying flat on my table here. Some of you have asked me, how do I store my large uh, works on paper? These are about 48 by 48. I have these two styrofoam pieces here. They're quite large. And um, I'd say that they're 48 by, I don't know, maybe 56 or something like that. And they just kind of clamshell together. And inside or between them is where I store a lot of my flat work because if it gets really large you know you, you can't just put it in a file drawer so anyways they're in there and then on this wall I um, I'm getting ready for this big exhibition in 2020 and um, for those of you in my membership group watch learn grow I've been um, I'm starting a new series on you know how to prepare for this exhibition um, I've been working on it for about a year and a half now and it, it opens in June at the University of Idaho at the Pritchard Gallery School of Art and Architecture. Um, so I, I like to have two years to prepare for a show that turns out to be about the right amount of time. And I've got some work here that's unfinished, some that's finished. And, but anyways, it, it's just a good time to kind of walk around the studio because I pulled paintings out that, um, again, because I had visitors and they wanted to look at work. And um, so there's that. And here's my encaustic area. Um, you know, these are, these are the types of equipment that you need when you work in this medium, the pancake griddle and the, the paint that's all cooled down and you know, hard as a rock, but when you heated it, you paint with it. And those are the colors. It's really fun and it's, uh, there's a bit of a learning curve, but it's really fun. And these are some materials I brought back from Oaxaca. Uh, and I've already done you know, some art with these little pieces of color so um, that's kind of the global view, but again, you guys, uh, just Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, and check out the mini course if you're interested. I'll have the link below my video, and again, there's a 20% off discount. It's like an introductory price, um, and the, pr the price is already very reasonable because I want you know, anybody to have it who wants to learn about acrylic techniques. Um, I feel like there's a need out there, and You'll watch as I um, take Indian Summer, a 12 by 12 inch acrylic and mixed media on panel from beginning to end. I kind of get stuck in the middle. Um, I show you all of that and you'll be watching over my shoulder as I paint it. So I hope you'll enjoy that and perhaps it'll make a nice Christmas gift for you or somebody that you care about. And anyways, the discount will be good through uh, December 25th, uh, midnight Mountain Standard Time and look for the link below the video. Thanks everybody and happy holidays.